Hi, we're here at Beacons Fest and I have got the magnificent MJ from Hookworms with us. Welcome, first of all, to Amazing Radio. Hi. How are we feeling about the set tonight then? Uh, I'm going to have a lot of coffee. We're not playing until midnight. So you so get your buzz gonna, on first of all. Yeah, I reckon so. I don't drink when I'm on tour or playing shows because I lose my voice. Oh. Uh-huh. So, um, so yeah, I just drink coffee. From the noise that your voice is able to actually make, I'm assuming you have a, a hierarchy of cough suite that you know <laughs> that helps your voice respond and recover correctly. Do you have I any mean, like, like routines? I, I do vocal warm-ups. Nice. And I do, um, and I have vocal zones sometimes when I um, when it gets when it gets really bad. Yeah. But I'm really good. I'm really hot on vocal warm-ups because I work as um, I make records for yeah. a living, and so I always make people do vocal warm-ups. A lot of times, say I record. A, an indie rock band, a really messy indie rock band, and I make them do vocal warm ups. It's the first time they've ever done it in their life. But then they then they come and tell me six months later that they do them all the time. Feel the difference. Better. Yeah, you, you really feel it definitely. Yeah. Class, is there something you could advise me on a morning whenever I'm driving into work before I do my mid morning show to actually do to warm up my voice? Uh, <laughs> so any, any 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 tips? Is there any any ranges I should be going through or anything like that? Well, I always do one that goes. Um, you got to, if you put your like your thumb and your finger like that, you okay. go like make that noise. Oh, that doesn't no. work. Like a tractor. That sounds more like a horse. Well, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you can go up, like, the best thing to do, I think, is first like start where you're comfortable, you know, where you're talking is where your voice is, and yeah. you go like, <laughs> like that. Okay. You just go like little fluctuations like that, and slowly build up and then do scales with that sound. Because <laughs> it doesn't um, force your vocal cords. Yeah. Then, you know, and then you can go into Lars and things like that. This is quite good. This is a, I think we're establishing we can sell like some sort of a musical warm up DVD for yeah. you, and we'll start getting it into the merchandise stalls at festivals. Cool. I'll, I'll put, put delay on my voice. Really good. Sound weird. Okay. So we've got some great singles in the back catalogue from you. We have got an album en route. When can we expect this? What's going down? Uh, near the end of the year, we have a new record that we've finished recently. Awesome, class. Okay. And uh, what about touring and stuff then? Where can we see you beyond the UK this year? Um, we have um, got a tour that um, near the end of the year we'll probably do around the same time as the album. We're just sorting out at the moment. And then we're doing, we've been doing mainly European festivals this summer, mm-hmm. which has been really nice because I've got to go to places I'd never thought I'd get to go to. Like, yeah. I went to Poland last weekend and that awesome. was really nice. And then the week before that we were in Denmark, we played Ross Kilda Festival. Uh, it's really, yeah, it's been really nice. I've been to uh, France and um, Holland as well. So are you finding you're getting to see the places as opposed to just go to locations? Because a lot of the times bands are like, yeah, we get there, we don't see it, we don't get to live it. Do you get a bit of time I think where you get to in, in Poland there? we did, cause, because the flights to Poland are really hard um, to sort out. You know, they're, they're not as frequent as they are to say to yeah. America or France or whatever. Yeah. And um, we had to go a day early, so we spent a day at the festival before we played as well. And it was it was really nice. It was, it was in a, a place called Katowice. I don't know if I've pronounced that right, but we got to walk around and there's some nice cake. We had some nice cake. See, that's the winner, cake. cake. Now, have you tried any food here yet? Because I've been round and I've done a bit of an analysis in every single little food store, yeah. and I've kind of tried to plan the attack. So I'm trying to leave Indian food to as late in the festival as possible. Well, there's a there. Bundabus, isn't there? That's a new that's a new place, a new bar and restaurant that's just opened in Leeds. It's really nice. And yeah, I had some pizza from Doughboys, which is the place in Belgrave Music Hall in Leeds. Uh-huh. And I had some coffee from Lanes, which is my favourite coffee shop in the country. Well, some of them actually have stores here at Beacons. Yeah, that's well, right. So that's that's really, what, yeah, really that's, good. Yeah. That's looking really good. So then in terms of singles, are we expecting anything soon? There'll be a single with a new record, yeah. Okay. And uh, what vibe are we going for then? Are we still as noisy or...? Uh... Um, I think what we tried to do with our new record was the, the first record we made in the studio and we wrote um, the songs as we were recording them and then we had to learn the finished songs and play them live whereas this time we um, all set up in my studio in the live room and every instrument had an output and we just recorded ourselves playing and we wrote the songs together so this time we've made a record that we can play the whole thing from start to finish straight away yeah so it's more of a rock record I guess and it's probably people who've heard it so far think it's a bit more poppier as well I guess it's got a few more hooks it's still noisy though. Nice, I like yeah. it. Better be. In terms of then the studio, because I've heard you've had some great names in and around the studio before. Mm. Who have you got coming through your doors at the moment? What's going down? I just did a really great album with a band called Pin Act from Glasgow. I'm really into them. It's a two piece. Um, I guess they're kind of like uh, the Thermals or something like that. You know, it's, it's, it's American college rock styled, but they're really, really strong songwriting. I just did some new songs with a band called Joanna Gruesome. Um, uh, they're coming out on a split with Perfect Pussy and Trust Fund, two bands I really like as well. Um, just did the finishing album for a band called Martha that came out on Fortuna Pop uh, that I really, really like. That's a really good, cl- uh, catchy songwriting as well. But you find time to do your own stuff somewhere yeah. in between all of this yeah. as well. Brilliant, right? Yeah. Well, we'll let you go and get sorted for the rest of the day. Get yourself some food, go and see some bands. But MJ, thanks so much That's for right. joining Cheers. us on Amazing Radio. Thank you.